Okay, guys, let's jump right into it here. This is the Wilson Combat SIG P365XL grip module. All right. It's a little thicker through here. It's got the starburst pattern. Uh, the grip texture on the front and back is absolutely phenomenal. Um, it's got the little rail here. It looks extended, um, like there's a little bit more area up here. They do have this relieved here, and I do believe I do believe the beaver tail on the back of this is a little deeper. Um, just the absolute overall feel of this is amazing, right? So comes in this packaging. This is the mag release. Let's see if we can get this put in real quick. It comes with a spring, the actual mag button, and then this is like a clip, I guess, on the other side to lock it. So, never put one of these in, but it seems kind of intuitive here. Uh, spring goes in a little channel. This might be the tricky part here, is getting this to set. Through. You push it through, and then this with the little clip goes in. And locks it into place. Hey, hey. Not bad for my first time. Okay. It's working, I think. Get a knife. Yeah, look at that. Okay, so in all seriousness, guys, that was my first time putting that in. Um, right out of the packaging, you guys seen it. So it's got the mag button, the little spring. You lay it in the channel, push this all the way through. It comes out the other side. Then you put this little locking piece in, clicks it, and it locks it into place. All right, so let's go ahead and dive into this brute. All right, so this is the 365 XL. It does have the Harrington Arms comp on it and a true precision barrel. Um, this is one of the nicer gun builds I've ever had. Um, it does got the Romeo Zero on top of it too. Uh, this is proven to be an absolute fantastic gun, right? So with the arm down, you take um, this is just a punch, and you punch this pin out, a little bit of pressure, comes out, pop out on the other side, let's leave it, I do believe this is oriented both ways, I don't know if you guys can see that, but we'll leave it there, um, this rocks forward, comes out, there's the old grip module, right? And this is your fire control unit. Um, I will go ahead and show you guys, right? So lengths of these are exactly the same. I told you that I thought this beaver tail was up a little bit, and it is. Um, the big thing between these two, the, the night and day thing, right, is the thickness. Um, and the thickness on the Wilson, which is on my left, you guys can tell it's a little bit thicker and oh my gosh does it feel great in your hand where this one can be a little narrow um, I would you know say I have about average sized hands but like I said absolutely feels great this is on another level different planet um, kudos to Wilson combat for that but Let's see if we can get this. I believe this sets here in the, like so. 
rocks forward. You can't hit the slide release while you're doing this, but this kind of will pressure fit. And then this kind of pressure fits in. Your pin goes back in, which there it is, locked into place. Slide goes on, locks in, and that's it. And oh my gosh, dude, this thing feels like a completely different gun now. Holy crap. Um, I had a lot of guys hitting me up, telling me to switch the grip modules out. Um, little did they know that I've had one of these on order for a couple of weeks now. And... This is a game changer for this pistol. Wow. Okay, guys, I won't take any more of your time. I uh, just wanted to take you through it. Like I said, I had never changed the grip modules out on any of the P365s or XLs or the P320s or nothing. So literally anyone can do it. It didn't take me... 10 minutes to do the mag release and the actual grip module itself so anyway if you guys liked the video please subscribe comment and share this video appreciate it we'll see you guys in the next one